Hello, and welcome back to the Maya hand editing tutorial. In this episode, we're going to create some simple animations for our hand using Maya tracks. Now, uh, we're going to continue from the previous episode, where we referenced the hand into our scene from its original model file, and where we created a character set for the hand. Now, to start with, we are going to create a very simple animation, uh, where we're simply waving the hand back and forth. So if we click on the Z uh, rotation for our wrist, just move it back and forth, that is the sort of thing we're going for. Press Control Z. Now, uh, first thing we're going to want to do is give us enough space. Let's create 100 frames of animation that we can wave back and forth in. And let's scroll that up so we can see all 100 frames at once in our timeline here. And to start off with, let us Okay, select only the NURBS curves, and make sure that only that one is selected up there, so we only select NURBS curves. I'm going to select all our controls here, and we're at frame 1 down here. I'm going to press the letter S, and that is going to create a keyframe for all of our controls at frame 1. In fact, let's bring up the graph editor. Nation graph editor, just so it's a lot easier to see uh, where our keyframes are placed. So there's not a lot to see here, it's just a small black dot here at frame number 0. But let's pull our timeline up to frame number 25 and select only our wrist control and rotate around the Z to right about there. So let's click on the Z line there so that's a lot easier. Now notice we have auto key on over here. That means whenever we adjust an attribute it's going to automatically set a key for it, which is very convenient. So if we then drag this up to 50 and we rotate back to the middle, see that is going to add in another keyframe. Let's actually just type in the number 0 here just to make sure that goes back exactly to 0. And let's get that out of the way. Then we're going to go up here to frame number 75, uh, rotate around that way, and finish off by going all the way up to frame one, number 100, and put that back at zero rotation. So now if we see we play this, we have to bring up the graph editor here too, so it's a lot easier to see that. Press F key to everything in the middle, and we press the play key. We've created a very simple animation with the hand waving back and forth. And this is exactly the way you would do it even if you weren't using uh, tracks or the uh, character editor. Uh, what... let me stop that, rewind. Now uh, what the uh, tracks lets you do is uh, be able to save that animation and keep it distinct from all other animations. So we're going to go to Window, Animation Editor, Tracks Editor. Okay, now because all of those attributes uh, are part of the character set, if we then go to uh, Create Animation Clip, and let's call this clip Wave, and we click Create Clip, then we see that um, that just created a clip that sucked in all the keyframes. Now notice the keyframes are now missing down here. And they're now stored inside our tracks clip. And notice they also sort of disappeared from up here in the graph editor. But if we click play, those frames are still there. They're just uh, being, uh, the, the source of them is now the tracks clip rather than the timeline. And if you uh, right click on the tracks clip and you undo enable clip, then, then see how that uh, went gray there? Now uh, when you play through the timeline, it's no longer receiving information from your tracks clip. But if you want to uh, have that affect the timeline again, go to ena enable clip. And once again, uh, when you animate it, it's now drawing information from your tracks clip. And uh, that is a very simple, uh, basic wave with tracks. Um, come back next time when we do something a little bit more uh, technically complicated.